and I call on Iraqi Development Organization. Mr. President, IDO together with the European Center for Democracy and Human Rights and Arabian Rights Watch Association would like to draw your attention to the issues faced with relying on the National Commission to investigate crimes in Yemen. But before we do so, we thank the High Commissioner for condemning the repeated killing of civilians in Yemen by Saudi coalition airstrikes and for clearly holding the Saudi coalition responsible for twice as many civilian casualties as compared with all other forces put together as a direct result of the airstrikes. In other words, Saudi coalition airstrikes are responsible for two-thirds of the civilian casualties in Yemen. Potential responsibility for the remaining one-third may be alleged against the following groups, which include but are not limited to the Saudi coalition ground and naval forces from 10 countries, Hadi government in exile forces, mercenaries from Blackwater like companies, and AQAP and Daesh like terrorists, and finally the Yemeni military and its popular committees who are defending their people from a Saudi led war without a UN mandate. It's not only about airstrikes and shelling, though. We point your attention to the coalition's abuse of UN Security Council Resolution 2216, an arms embargo on five people being abused to justify a brutal blockade on 27 million Yemenis. According to the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, the blockade has led to over 14 million people to be food insecure, almost 8 million of whom are severely food insecure. Over 19 million lack clean water and sanitation, of whom 10 million lost access to water due to the war. Over 14 million without adequate access to health care and about three million who are displaced internally or in neighboring countries. Taken together, the airstrikes and blockade are measures deliberately inflicted on the Yemeni people that create conditions of life calculated to bring about their physical destruction. These are crimes of genocide and crimes against humanity. The National Commission will not be investigating these crimes impartially, and it goes without saying that the Saudi coalition will not impartially investigate its own crimes either. How long shall we wait for an independent commission and a recommendation to the UN Security Council for a transfer of the case to the ICC? Mr. President, humanity calls on you to act sooner rather than later. Thank you.